Hey, thanks for coming by Tori Magoo 44. It is March 3rd, 2012, and life is rolling along. And literally, life is rolling along. Today, my friend Andrew and I went to see, the, I'm going to show you a picture of it. It isn't nearly as cool as it is, but you've probably seen it on the news. It's this huge mass coming soon to LACMA, which is the uh, Los Angeles Art Museum, right? And it's it's rolling along, literally. We went and saw it. This is the, the LACMA, one of the finest art museums in the nation, right? If you live here in L.A., it's a really great place to go. But this huge boulder is rolling along from way far out in the desert. And, you know, it was fun to go. There were tons of people there. Channel 4 was there taking pictures and interviewing people. Anyway, we had a really good time. So... That's one thing I wanted to tell you is on the weekend, go do things that are fun. There's stuff happening all around you, wherever you live. I promise you there's cool things that you can go to, even if it's going out to a park, having a picnic, going for a walk. You know, it's just, it's not, today was a beautiful day. It was like 80 degrees here in Los Angeles. And sorry for everyone who's freezing, but it is one of the reasons why we live here. So, was L. Ron Hubbard a cowboy and everything else that he says that he was? This is an excellent book. A dear friend of mine wrote it, Messiah or Madman. You can see it says Bent Corden and L. Ron Hubbard Jr., right? Ronald the Wolf. Okay, Bent, and he wrote this. I was working at Ron's public relations office when this book actually came out. And they said, go home. And, you know, the next day they explained to me that you know, they showed me something notarized by Ron's son saying, no, I didn't ever have any problems with my father, and, you know, this is true. You know, I didn't co-author that book. But um, he did. And later when I escaped out of Scientology, I found and met Bent Corden and asked him what happened, and of course he was paid off, which you don't know when you're in the Church of Scientology. This is why I'm wearing my hat. It's one of the reasons. But in this book is a lot of great information about L. Ron Hubbard. I'm going to show you another book that I highly recommend, Russell Miller's Barefaced Messiah, which is another one about Hubbard. And uh, Russell Miller was never in Scientology. He just decided to sit down and write a biography about Hubbard, and it's really, really a good book. I highly recommend you, you get it. Um, there's there's a couple other ones that are really good. Uh, of course, Janet Reitman's Inside Scientology came out recently. Really good. And Nancy Maney's My Billion Year Contract. So that's good. And of course, Blown for Good. Fantastic read. Really fun. Uh, Mark was up and gold with David Miscavige. And it's kind of a day-to-day -day living up there at gold and what goes on. And it's hysterical. I mean, Mark is a very funny writer. And it's just, it's a really good read. Okay, and this is a little bit heavier, but very educational. I highly recommend it. It's by Margaret Singer, Cults in Their Midst. Really good information about what is a cult, how do they operate. This is another really good one. Um, wait, hang on. i got to get it. Just a second. Okay, hang on. Here's this one, Captive Hearts, Captive Minds. Ooh, that's a really good one really really good book that tells about cults what they are and hang on I'm trying to find Steve Hassan's okay here it is here it is okay 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 yeah. releasing the bonds this is another really good one empowering people to think for themselves by Steve Hassan good really good books helps you understand what is a cult how do people get in cults how do they get out of cults what do you do with your family that kind of thing they're really good this is another really good one for people who've been in Scientology and are out and are like, I need to help repair my life. Though some of those books, Captive Hearts, Captive Minds, and Steve's have things that you can do to help, you know, put yourself back together. This is a really good book that helped me it's by Louise Hay, You Can Heal Your Life. It's a really, really excellent book. With If you use it, it's really good. So anyway, I just thought I'd show you some of those things and uh, say hi for the weekend. I hope you guys are having an excellent weekend. Happy March. It's going to be uh, St. Patty's Day in a couple of weeks. But in the meantime, I hope you have a wonderful, safe weekend. I do hope you take some time and read some of these books because the more you learn, the more, the, the more things strip off. 
you know, and the more chance you have of healing. And uh, it definitely works. It does. So anyway, there you go. I love you guys. Thank you for coming by my site, and I will talk to you soon. Peace out. Bye-bye.